take a shower. So no judgment here. And I have nothing on my face. But I was thinking, should I put out my Halloween decorations? Like, should I do it? Should I pull them out? I don't think I'm going to really buy anything new this year, which is sad. But I'm going to just wait until after Halloween is over, I think, to buy some new stuff. Because I think, like, I kind of want to be on, like, a track to save money. How did I sound like someone was knocking? Yeah, I'm making stuff up. Anyways, and I know I have to decorate the white tree that I bought last year at the end of the year for Christmas. So I know I'm going to have to buy stuff for that. And I want to like turn this whole back room into like a winter wonderland. So I have a lot of great stuff from last year. And I think I bought stuff at the end of the year. I could be wrong. So let me take you along. Okay, this is going to be a process. But just kind of showing you a little overview. This is probably going to be like the whole weekend. But I don't have too much in here that has to get cleaned anyways. Same thing with in here. It's not too bad. Like this just has to get taken care of. A little laundry there. I'm going to be working on the dishes now and cleaning up this because I want to clear everything out before I start putting up decorations. This is just like a mad array of toys, but they kind of just have to get reorganized on here. So let's kind of clean a little and then maybe I'll go through the boxes downstairs at least. Ah, dishes! <laughs> I've got some laundry going. Well, there's nothing in there. <laughs> I'll eventually take care of this, not to worry about that. But this is the pile of stuff over here that I kind of have to go through and see what all is Halloween. Cause frankly, I have no idea. I think it's mostly all of this right here, but I could be wrong. Okay, so I've brought the boxes up here now. I have these three over here and the small little guys are on the opposite wall. You can't see them. But I think I'm just gonna start like unloading and just filling up this little table over here, just like putting stuff on top. I'll probably just clear that stuff off first and then start unloading these boxes because I don't even remember what I have. And I have to do things a little differently since now I have all of those toys on the changing table in the living room. So I'm not going to have as much space this year, but I'll make it work. I always do. Actually, I'm going to stick all the lights in here because I want to get like the tabletop stuff out first. That's a little more important. So I have to figure out where all those toys are going to be stored. All by myself.
you get cheesecloth, and you get cheesecloth. Like, Okay, everything sorted. Got a box of skeletons. This is cheesecloth. The whole thing. Lights, random signs, and then this is all the goodies. I don't know where I'm gonna put everything. Okay, I think over in this corner, I kind of want to go for like a black, purple, dark theme. I'm gonna switch out some of the items I already have on top of this bookshelf. I might keep some of the picture frames, I'm not sure. I'm gonna kinda just play around with it and see what I come up with. Just sitting here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of this. This is my project for today. I think I'm gonna switch and put all the stuff that's here over in this corner and take this like changing table I've converted into like a place to put all of our toys. I think I'm gonna stick it over here and I have these little foam mats and stuff I'm gonna put on the floor and just kind of turn this into a whole little play area. Get that basket out of here. I think that's what I'm gonna do to try to alleviate some of this so you know I can put my Halloween stuff. <laughs> I started decorating over here. I've got this little thing going on down here. Got my little broom. And now I'm kind of just working on the top of this. I think I'm gonna keep it really simple this year since I have all of her toys here. I went around and like kind of redid all of that. So now she has her own little corner over here with a little storage over here. But this is kind of like the stuff I have left and I still don't have anything on like my table scheme. Cheesecloth makes such a difference. So I did change it around a little, but I kind of always do that when I'm decorating. I kind of like just keep switching things back and forth and back and forth until I really like how it looks. Final look right here. 